Foundation has gone back to school. We are here at the JPS Foundation UEK STEM workshop where we're interacting with our six formers as they prepare for exams. Today, we have with us Roald Garrell. So he's going to be talking about grid management. There are so many areas in JPS. And so he's going to come and talk to you very briefly about what we do when we talk about we're managing the grid. So my department is system operation. So what we do is we monitor the electrical grid to make sure that energy basically is everywhere where it should be. So make sure say, we are generated properly, we are transmitted power where it should go, we are distributed to you. We're focusing on STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM, the world is all about STEM. No matter what we do, we cannot advance and we cannot go where we want to go without a good foundation and development in STEM education. And we are happy to be able to allow our students to afford this workshop. Our investment is helping every high school sixth former to be able to afford to attend this one week of boot camp workshop so that they can do well in their CAPE exams. We've always had an issue where some of the students are unable to attend uh, because they can't afford it. We have partnered with the JPS Foundation and we've been able to significantly reduce the cost to our students and we will be able to hold that cost for the next five years regardless of how things change in the economy. We're very grateful to the JPS Foundation because what we're doing here is allowing for many more students to be exposed to science, many more students to get preparation for their exams and to do well in science and to become the scientists that we need for the development of our country. JPS Foundation, big up. The CAPE workshops allow for students to come in and to express themselves in our labs and in our lecture theatres. They go through specific content that they're learning in school. They do labs that they may not have equipment at school to do, and they can actually use those for their internal assessments. But beyond that, it exposes them to the range of activities that are being done in the Faculty of Science and Technology. All the things that are being done in STEM on the campus and in the country as a result of that. They are increasing their love for science, they're increasing their exposure to the things in science, the research being done here, the technologies that are being developed here. JPS Foundation is also bringing with them their EVs so the children can learn about the EV technologies and where that is going and how the JPS is being involved with that in Jamaica and enhancing our EV stock and helping us with our renewable energy challenges. I have the awesome pleasure of leading what we call at JPS Project E-Drive and I want to talk to you a little bit today about e-mobility. E-mobility really is the electrification of transportation, true? That's really what it is about. We partnered with the IDB to develop the electric mobility ecosystem in Jamaica. So we, we are one of several projects, but I'm happy to say we are the leaders, Dr. Coy, in terms of achieving the objectives. We have three major areas that we work with. We work in market sensitization, knowledge management, and education. We do innovation, innovation and, and funding. And a big part of what we do is training. We have an invested interest in our listen. JPS is the energy company. We are the technology company. And we want to ensure that our future innovators, our future engineers are well prepared because they could be the next great big inventors creating renewable energy resources that we need. And so we are looking forward to preparing the next generation to contribute to our national development in energy management and innovation.